Liana here from OT. Um, today we're going to be working on or, uh, the pincer grasp, which is using your two, your index and your thumb together. It's important for writing and any other fine motor skills to pick up pom poms or cotton balls, whatever you have. And we're going to use those as our paint brushes to paint a little picture that you can find and make. I have finger paint, cotton balls, clothes pins, and paper, and a plate. So, I'm going to show you uh, with my daughter, Addie, with one example. Okay? Come here, babe. Okay. You're going to have them use their fingers, the thumb and your pointer, to squeeze. Help them out along the way because it is hard and it is resistive. If they have um, ability to use both hands together, you're gonna have them use it together. Don't be afraid to use it to help them out. And then also don't be afraid to let them work their hardest to do it themselves. Yeah. Ready, how do you do it? Squeeze, good. Now, once this is nice and stable, you might have to put a little bit more in. Then we're gonna use some paint. I like finger paint the best. It's the easiest to come off of everything. Do a little dollop. You're gonna use the paint like this. Use it as a paintbrush. Come in. Go ahead, babe. Let them have fun. Let them get dirty. It's a sensory experience. Okay. You, if they have a hard time with the clothes pins, then you let them use their hands. Um, finger painting is so much fun. If you are a little nervous about getting things dirty, finger painting in the tub also is a great activity to do. Um, I put her in the tub constantly and just put finger paint everywhere and it comes off really easily. Okay, you wanna do purple next? Okay, I'm gonna keep on going with her. I hope you guys have fun with this activity and I hope you're all feeling great, okay? Have a good day. Feel good. Email us if you have any questions. Say bye. Bye.